Janet Jayatso. Janet Jayatso is a religious studies scholar currently employed as the Hershey Professor of Buddhist Studies and the Associate Dean for Faculty and Academic Affairs at Harvard Divinity School. She is a member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Jayatso's research interests are in Buddhism and its relationship to Tibetan and South Asian civilizations. Education. Jayatso attended the University of California at Berkeley for her BA, MA, and PhD. She received her PhD in 1981 in the Department of South and Southeast Asian Languages and Literatures at Berkeley with a dissertation on Thangtong Jayalpo and the visionary tradition of Tibetan Buddhism prior to her PhD. She completed her Master of Arts in 1974 in Sanskrit and her Bachelor of Arts in 1972 in Religious Studies at Berkeley. Career Jayatso currently teaches at Harvard Divinity School and has taught with Harvard since 2001. She is the first Hershey Professor of Buddhist Studies at Harvard's Divinity School and is the Associate Dean of Faculty and Academic Affairs. Prior to teaching at Harvard, Jayatso taught at Amherst College between 1987-2001, the University of Michigan Spring 1999 and Wesleyan University 1986-87. From 2000-2006, Jayatso held the position of President of the International Association of Tibetan Studies. From 2004-2010, she was co-chair of the Buddhism section of the American Academy of Religion. She also served as a humanities jury member for the Infosys Prize 2020. Research. Jayatso is known for her work on Tibet. Her first monograph explored the writing of autobiography in Tibet and translated and analyzed one of its most beautiful examples, the visionary journals of Jigs Med Glingpa Apparitions of the Self, Princeton, 1998. Her more recent book, Being Human in a Buddhist World, studied the relationship between Buddhism and medicine in early modern Tibet. Her work has been credited by Barbara Jerk as helping to develop our understanding of the relationship between science and religion in early modern Tibetan culture. Jayatso has also edited a book entitled Women in Tibet, a compilation of essays on the topic. Jayatso and her fellow editor Hannah Havnivik put this book together to draw attention to the lack of research in the area of women in Tibet. A previous edited collection by Jayatso was in the Mirror of Memory State University of New York Press, 1992, a study of the types of memory theorized and used in Buddhist practice. Other topics of interest have been the reception of Indian poetic theory in Tibetan literature, the nature of experience in Buddhist thought and practice, Buddhist monasticism, and Buddhist conceptions of sex and gender, including the third sex. She is currently working on animal ethics. Works. Books. Being Human in a Buddhist World, An Intellectual History of Medicine in Early Modern Tibet 2015. Women of Tibet, co-edited with Hannah Hevnivik, 2005. Apparitions of the Self, The Secret Autobiographies of a Tibetan Visionary, 1998. In the Mirror of Memory, Reflections on Mindfulness and Remembrance in Indian and Tibetan Buddhism. Edited Volume of Essays, 1992. Articles. Turning Personal, Recent Work on Autobiography in Tibetan Studies Journal of Asian Studies 2016-229-235. One Picture. In Tibetan and Himalayan Healing and Anthology for Anthony Aris, edited by Charles Ramble and Ulrich Rosler 2014-273-278. Buddhist Practices and Ideals in Dizzy Sangai Jayatso's Medical Paintings in Bodies in Balance, The Art of Tibetan Medicine, edited by Verja Hofer, 2013, 198-220. Looking for Gender in the Medical Paintings of Dizzy Sangai Jayatso, 
regent of the Tibetan Buddhist state in Asian medicine, tradition and modernity in the med issue on gender, health and medicine in Tibet edited by Verja Hofer, and Heidi F. Geld, 2010-11-217-292. Discerning Tibetan Modernities, Moments, Methods, Assumptions in Mapping the Modern in Tibet edited by Gray Tuttle, 2011-137. Experience, Empiricism, and the Fortunes of Authority, Tibetan Medicine and Buddhism on the Eve of Modernity, pp. 311-335, in Forms of Knowledge in Early Modern Asia, Explorations in the Intellectual History of India and Tibet, edited by Sheldon Pollock, 2011. Female Ordination in Buddhism, Looking into a Crystal Ball, Making a Future in Dignity and Discipline, edited by Fi Mower and Jampa Chodron, 2010 pp. 121. Spelling Mistakes, Philology and Feminist Criticism, Women and Boys in Tibetan Medicine in Tibetan Studies in Honor of Samton Karme Dharamsala, and Nymashan Institute, Francois Palmeret, edited by Gina Luke Achard, 2009-8198. Introduction in Body and Spirit. Tibetan Medical Paintings, edited by Layla Williams, 2009-313. Culture and Education in Authenticating Tibet. Answers to China's 100 Questions, edited by Anne-Marie Blondo and Keisha Buffetril, 2008. A Partial Genealogy of the Life Story of Yes, Sajil in Journal of the International Association, of Tibetan Studies, Seminar 2006-127. Sex in Critical Terms for the Study of Buddhism, edited by Donald S. Lopez, 2005-271-290. The Ultimate Couple in Buddhist Scriptures, edited by Donald S. Lopez, 2004-488-494. Compassion at the Millennium, a Buddhist salvo for the ethics of the apocalypse in thinking through the death of God, essays on the thought of Thomas J. J. Altizer, edited by Brian Schroeder and Lissa McCullough, 2004. One plus one makes three, Buddhist gender conception and the law of the non-excluded middle in history of religions, 2003, 89, 115. The ins and outs of self-transformation, Personal and Social Sides of Visionary Practice in Tibetan Buddhism, Self and Self-Transformation in the History of Religions, edited by David Shulman, 2002. Long Chinpa, in the Possession of the Dakinis in Tantra in Practice, edited by David White, 2239-265. Healing Burns with Fire, the Facilitations of Experience in Tibetan Buddhism in Journal of the American Academy of Religion, 1999, 113-147. Introduction to Lama Chanom and Sangai Khandro in the Lives and Liberation of Princess Mandarava, 1998-114. Counting Crow's Teeth, Tibetans and Their Diaries in Less Habitants du Toit du Monde, edited by Samton Carme and Philip Sagant, 1997-159-178. The Relic Text as Prophecy, The Semantic Drift of Biang Bu and Its Appropriation in the Treasure Tradition in Commemorative Volume, for Rai Bahadur T.D., edited by Densop Atashi Tsuring, a special issue of Tibet Journal. Still forthcoming. Drawn from the Tibetan Treasury, the G. Terma Literature in Tibetan Literature, Studies in Genre, edited by Jose Ignacio Cabezon and Roger Jackson, 1996, 147-169. An Avalokites Sadhana in Religions of Tibet in Practice, edited by Donald S. Lopez, 1997-266-270. From the Autobiography of a Visionary in Religions of Tibet in Practice, edited by Donald S. Lopez, 1997-369-375. Guru Cho's D. Beng's G. Ter Byung Chen Mo, An Early Survey of the Treasure Tradition and Its Strategies in Discussing Bond Treasure in Tibetan Studies, 
Proceedings of the Sixth International Association of Tibetan Studies Seminar edited by Per Kaver, 1994, 275, 287. The Logic of Legitimation in the Tibetan Treasure Tradition in History of Religions, 1993, 97, 134. Autobiography in Tibetan Religious Literature, Reflections on its Modes of Self-Presentation in Tibetan Studies, Proceedings of the Fifth International Association of Tibetan Studies Seminar. Narita, Naritasan Institute for Buddhist Studies, edited by Sharon Ihara and Zuiho Yamaguchi, 1992-465-478. Genre, Authorship and Transmission in Visionary Buddhism, The Literary Traditions of Thang Stong Argyle Po in Tibetan Buddhism, Reason and Revelation, edited by Ronald Davidson and Stephen Goodman, 1992-95-106. Down with the Demoness, Reflections on a Feminine Ground in Tibet, in Tibet Journal, Roman 12, 4, 1987-34-46. Signs, Memory and History, a Tantric Buddhist Theory of Scriptural Transmission in Journal of the International Association of Buddhist Studies, 1986-735. Fang Stong Arjial Po, Father of the Tibetan Drama, the Bodhisattva as Artist in Zilas Gar, the Development of the Jikon Tradition in Soundings in Tibetan Civilization, edited by Barbara Aziz and Matthew Kapstein, 1985-74-98. The Teachings of Thang Stong Argyle Po in Tibetan Studies in Honor of Hugh Richardson, edited by Michael Aris and Ong San So Ki, 1980-111-119. Awards and Accolades. 2017 elected to American Academy of Arts and Sciences. 2017 E. Jean Smith Award for Best Book in Inner Asia, Association of Asian Studies for her book Being Human in a Buddhist World. 2016 Tasha Hyde Numata Book Award for her book Being Human in a Buddhist World.